Yeah, anointing is for service. You don't get a degree to show off with it. You sacrifice to get a degree to one work. Your degree is null and void if you're not working it. A gift is null and void if you're working it. Now the flip side to that is when you have a gift and you're working it for the glory of yourself and not for the glory of God. That, that, that is where the whole thing is. And, and you know when you look at people rushing to get ordained now and people rushing to baptize now and people rushing to point and people rushing to evangelize and to preach and, and, and you're asking yourself where is God in the business? Because, because we're finding all the ways to go past the spiritual side. Of, so according to the statement, we're removing the ancient landmarks. And when we remove the ancient landmark, it means that everything is free flow. It has no control. The ancient landmarks is what used to put the checks and balances so the provers used to be able to come and prove. The teachers used to come and teach in a certain way. The pointers pointed, the divers used to come and dive. When it have a situation in a mona room, the mother would raise a hymn with the pastor and they would, they would put the, a, a, a loot, a pot, or a can in a diver hand. And while they, when the diver started to pray, they go open a road. And when they open a road, the diver go start to walk that road and they, they go start to have a conversation. And they have a conversation and the diver go say, well, look, you're mona between two rock and stick. <laughs> you know this kind of way. And then the pointer go say, right, because the diver might, might be of a deeper diving depth than the pointer. You understand what I'm saying? The pointer is not the most gifted person in the church. There's the most learned person in terms of, 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 of being able to have the qualifications to teach. But you might be a general teacher, but I might be a maths, maths whiz. And when a situation comes with maths, that is beyond you. You are qualified to this degree. But my maths is at this degree over you. So if I know that in a situation like that, you need somebody to help you. And, and, and that is what we missing, you know. We missing how to really unify the body, you know. And if we can only come off ourselves. We come off ourselves, you know, you know, you know. You know, it's a real reality in the faith that we don't want to we don't want to face. I am um Terence and Virgil doing good. Terence and Virgil have a fallout. Terence come and tell me something about Virgil. I start a tote. Because me and Terence live better than me and Virgil. So I and Terence form an alliance. You understand? When Virgil realized me and you form an alliance now, Virgil tell his several, oh, that were the cases. So all the things that you tell he, that was private and personal, he started to send that outside there, you know. And that's a human thing, you know. And when you start to do that, now what going on there now, it go wrong and it come back. And Terence here, I do, I hear it. And you know, that whole blow that start to pelt. I will do fame. So, the, so then you know his secret too. That's right. So then everything what come out on social media, everything come out yeah. in, in, in Baptist media, <laughs> let me put it so. And everybody know what's going on be, be, with, with things that people so sad private. So we don't even have the integrity no more. So if you lose, if you lose integrity, then it means that your value system going down the drain. A man must be able to be talking your personal business. And you must be able to say to yourself, look at that, look, I have all your business locked down here. And sometimes your business is worse. Yeah. Yeah. The man not talking, he business worse than the man he's talking about. Yeah. Yeah. So you see, these are the little things that we have to understand. When you have a gift, and people don't want to go and moan. I want to, when you go and moan, it means you're going to be exposed to more stuff. When you go and moan, moaning is opening a womb, you know. It's a built in, you know. And for a child to, to, to start a function from birthing and meet each other, they start to know to cry when it's wrong because a child don't know. Your body go talk to you and you're you, you going to respond where your body is concerned at one level. And have, as you start to grow, a child will develop a system. It has things that is innate in a child. They're born with them things. But it has some things that happen as the, the culture at the home and all kind of things. And the child starts to know. So the, a child will start to know when I'm going to come into nursing. That's why a child will ball ball and after a while it, 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 you will see it pause. It, it, it know when I normally ball for this amount of time. That's it. I, I, just get, I just get comforted. And as the child starts to grow, the child will start to find his own way. Children will be disobedient from small, you know. 
because they, they know learning stuff. So you think when people know moon or they know baptized, they want to learn new things? No, self, they want to learn new things. So you see, that is where we have to really come to understand what it is we really want. And when we can really understand what it is we want, you, you serve and go today, and you go somewhere today, and because you have another event tomorrow, you find you went on an event already, you're not going the following day. And then you go tell somebody, I study my health, or I had to go and work Monday, I done went out Saturday, I'm not going away Sunday. And that makes it foolish. But when somebody starts to elevate now, in your space that showing commitment. Sometimes you might think you're more gifted than them, and maybe you might be, but you don't have the commitment. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, you know, a minister said something to me two weeks ago and it's sticking my head, you know. And I was telling people I like I like I like to have the ears to hear. Because there are things that God does does really that what the Bible say, not see and receive instruction, you know. The Bible say hear and receive instruction. And when he said that to me, he was telling me what I meant by the church. He said, well, if, if, if I call she now and tell she, all the boat ride, I have a ticket to go. He said she would put down any plan that she have. She would put it on. You know why? Because she trusts that if I ask her to do something, right. I am asking it for a good cause. Right. He said, and that in itself is an encouragement to me in terms of as a minister. When you as a minister or mother in a church, and members are coming and they just wouldn't tell you they ain't coming. They wouldn't tell you personally, they wouldn't tell you privately. But they will have all the reasons for the attitude that they would give off. Why? Why I'm not coming to them, I'm not telling them because he has attitude. I'm not telling the mother because she has attitude. I'm not telling her because I'm not their business. You know, and they'll have all the but only let their head hurt them. Only let that situation come where they need something spiritual. They calling you and they don't say that. Look, look, just this morning, I was saying to myself, I say, you know, people that be calling down your phone because you have a gift that they want to invest in for free. Sometimes they want to know the price, but they don't know they want to negotiate if it have a price. And when they get that help, they like the nine leper. Not the tenth one, you know. They like the nine leper. They studying the system that is designed, they're studying the reality of the source, you know. I know, I go in church and, and I go pay fifty dollars and I go up and pay that I was supposed to do in giving thanks. But I ain't, they're starting to go back to the man that caused the healing and say, here going on. You know, I really appreciate it because you know you don't know man, you help me. And because you helped me, you know, I, I don't have nothing to offer, but I want I want to say a heartfelt thanks. People know that that's more than money. That would more than money. So, so, so everybody caught up in their own self because back to the original thing, they, they want gifting. So, so, so they, they walk in an anointing that they don't even have. They walk in an anointing that they don't even have. So you learn to word at him because you're in the church and you're thinking that because you could word at him that is part of your anointing. So you feeling that when a him raised in your congregation, in any congregation, you went and word at him without discipline. I, 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 look, I realize that churches are so much are different. If I visit your church and I have a preacher that I bring, if I put it on my preacher, protocol and good common sense supposed to be that you know he's a minister. Let me word the hymn or raise the hymn for my, for my preacher. I see people that work that is my church. <laughs> or oh, they visit and I a singer. You, I hear you sing just when you can really sing. And that hymn you raise the door, my everlasting portion. Thy my tune in, in church. And that's exactly what it is. Thy my tune. Not, 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 thy not God's song. So you find everybody know you just would. And sometimes the congregation get caught up in that because the congregation find you, 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 you would you know you singing boring. But that's, that's how you entertain people. It's called protocol. It's called good etiquette. But people don't want that. People want to be able to say, I this, and I that, and I, and I, and I. And I, 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 I sit back and I say, wait. Look at these people. And when they hear the conversation out of uh, functions, where they're not in the place where they have to remain quiet and, sh and be on their best behavior, 
you hear this one saying that about that one, and that one saying that about that one, and that one saying that about that one, and that the, that, that the whole that the whole thing. And it's not to say it's constructive criticism. It's just it's just criticism. It's just criticism. Sometimes you hear you went. Sometimes you hear what they talk about. I went to ordination, and I see a minister take his robe and his chasuble full up in a bag, and he just threw that on while he walking it from the road. You know? And I watch this man, and I say. No, I tell him what I say. I say this man have a wife or a daughter or somebody that can oppress all that and let him come looking. No, my point is you sitting in a place where everybody's going to see you. And because you're sitting in a place where everybody's going to see you, I would think that your spiritual clothes will be important to you. Now, the clothes are more important than the minor the person, you know. But I would still think that you understand who you represent. Yeah. And this man was a bishop. This man was that man is not like me and Terence. And 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 these are the things that does lead you to wonder what is the standard people have? What is the standard? What 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 you're about? What you're really about? You had to know what you're for, you know. Because a lot of people when they're out of position, they just have much to say. Only give them a position. Only give them a position. And watch and see if the same person that didn't have the power is the same person that have the power now. A lot of people know if you nurture a, a, a congregation, a flock, you must know from that flock. You and, and what we that is a, that, that's what we are natural given you. That way, that is that would be why God chose you. You must be able to watch your congregation and say, "This is a young preacher." Let me start to give them opportunities to read and 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 and, and you, you start to nurture them. And when you start to nurture them, eventually what will happen is that they will start to come from one place onto another place. If you plant a, a if, if you if you buy about 40 coconut trees, and after five years all them coconut trees short, so you go feel you waste your money. But you know if you plant 40 coconut trees and only five start to grow. And while that five started bear, the rest of them now struggling to grow. You know where you're gonna look at that and say? The first thing you're gonna say is either them better than the, the others, or the soil where they planted better. And it is that simple enough. You know? yeah. That is your main two conclusion is either the soil better or the tree better. But if the soil is the same and all of them growing at different sprouts. It simply means that there is something in them that causes them to grow different. Yeah. And once you can understand that, you will start to understand that everything can, even though they look the same, there's not the same. They look the same, but there's not the same. And sometimes on that close examination, you have a lot of things you will know. And then on that close examination, you have things you will never know. Yeah. We just say God, but we don't really understand how this thing of God does work. You just had to trust God at his word. And as you, as you mature in your spirituality, trust God with your anointing. I can, I can tell anybody, when it's time for you to go to another level, you just go through a period of frustration. Frustration carnally, frustration spiritually, frustration emotionally, frustration mentally, sometimes frustration physically, you're just being a whole mess because God telling you, hey, it's time. That place starts again comfortable. You know they say our eagerness make the nest uncomfortable for the for the chick. Because you know why that means it's time for them to come out. And that's not that's not for the worse, you know, that's for the better. Because only after that they can know how to survive. They just throw them out when they reach a certain stage, they train them out the out, out, out the um Yeah. And that is what is going to help them to be better and stronger. And if they wasn't equipped to be able to fight that, it's laziness that's called playing people to die, carnally and spiritually. Laziness. So if you know and you believe that you are anointed, you're anointed, the first thing must go with your anointing is discipline. The first thing must go with anointing is discipline. You must express 
a certain degree of humility. Anytime, you know, you know, you know, Jaron Nurse said it last night. He said, anytime you leave church because of somebody you wasn't serving God, because you didn't, that person could be getting on how foolish, that person could have how much of being how district, that person could be how whatsoever it is. You must know your calling to that congregation must be God and not the person. Because sometimes a fight break out in church. I am in a physical fight. And your duty is to remain to see the outcome of that. Sometimes as a fight starts in a church and if I pull on top, you go on and you ball and I didn't come here for that. But struggle does bring struggle does bring progress. If that child is struggling in a womb, it never come out in you know? The child is just struggling in the womb, and if the child is struggling in the womb, it's only then they will be able to come out. You understand? So, so we have to understand how it does go. It's not, it's not about you. Anything that God entrusts you with is all about you being able to understand that in everything, you must remember that God is in charge and God is who calling the shots. One stage, two stage, three stage. And he does allow you to grow gracefully from here to day. You can just tell people, if I was fussing about, about teaching on this level, I would have been totally frustrated now. I'd have been totally frustrated. Look at the line in-house and the line out-house. I would have been frustrated, but I had to trust God. I had sitting down and saying, oh yeah, I had to trust God, I had to trust God. I had to, I had to figure out what it is he wants. Because when you think you know what God wants, and then you come and see what God wants. And it's not the same thing. It's trouble. And not only just trouble, you know, it's plenty trouble. So you now we have to trust God for what he has done. What he's still about to do. How he does do it. How he will continue to do it. And you have to know, you have to go through struggle. You have to get frustration. That is what is going to build you. That is why if you have something to fix on a car, you must always struggle to study to master that. That thing that you're doing, you're, you're accustomed to doing it, but every time you do it, you must do it like if it requires the highest attention. If you do it on a BMW, you're doing it on a, on a, 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 a Toyota Isis, if you're doing it on a B14, you must know to do it. You must set your standard. You must know if you go and you look at a problem here. I have a customer that come here, and she tell me what she wants. But based on my profession, I am telling her, I say, this is what you tell me that you want. I say, but, and I start to show her different things that can affect what she's telling me. And then she tell me, so I, tell, I say, no, I'm not telling you that. I say, I am letting you know based on what you tell me. These are some of the things that is go, you're going to encounter where that is concerned. Right. You know the decision is yours. Yeah. And, when, and, and when she say, listen, well, well, you tell me what. I say, I don't want to tell you what. I want to know if this is what you want. I just want you to know. Because if that is what you want, that is what you want. That is what you want. But what you want might not really be the best thing for you to get something from it. You know, so I just say that that is how it has been sometimes. All right? <laughs>